Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. I am here with a design team project for Erica's store, Scrap Diva Designs. And it is making this five by five card. So I'm gonna show you this card and then we're gonna make this card again together. I thought that would be fun. So the dies that I used for this card is this one, okay? Which is the smaller of the hearts because it comes with the two and I'm using the smaller one. Then I'm using the wheel and I'm using the little covers that goes over the hearts. On my first card, I did not add that. I don't know why I totally spaced on these. And then I was thinking, oh no, Anna, on this next card, we're gonna add them all. So we're gonna do that a little differently. But other than that, it'll pretty much be a replica of this card. So I will have Erica's information below to her store and also my discount code, which is Anna10. All right, let's dive in guys. All right, so here's a five by five card that I made. And you'll see these butterflies I fussy cut. And the collection, paper collection I used was uh, Nature by Prima. It's a very old collection and I, I don't even know where to tell you to get that collection at. But like I said, I'm always a sucker for florals and things with butterflies and stuff like that. So I fussy cut this out and put stickles on all of them. I used a chippy. Now this right here is a Minte chippy from Frank. Now in my card kit that I subscribe to every other month, it comes with a full 12 by 12, 12, by 12 sheet and you don't use all the chippies on there. So um, I was like, well, we're going to use them. So this was totally his idea. And I was like, yes, this is an awesome idea to go ahead and implement that into the card. So you will see that I added here is where the wheel die is. This is glitter foam that's sandwiched in between. This is the heart die that I just layered on top of each other. And then I added some little halfback pearls and some of these really pretty little jammies that my friend Lala gifted me. Thank you again, girlfriend. So we are going to go ahead and do this together. And then I just did the inside. I like to finish the insides. Kept it flat. I don't want to add a bunch of stuff because it needs to lay. I mean, you see, this is a lot going on. <laughs> so let's go ahead and dive in. Now, what I did do to save sometime as I already pre-cut the butterflies I already added the stickles so they would be dry and I also added the little jemmies on um let's scoot you down a little bit um on the hearts so those are done I did half of the wheel and then we'll do the other half together okay so you will see that I used five hearts okay and you score right down the middle. I did not score down here so you guys could see how I do that. And then here, see how I just freehanded it so it looks all wonky. <laughs> I could have totally done a better job. But honestly, you're not going to see it when you layer it on top. So I love it. So I already did all the layers. So you'll see this is cardstock. This is the... Um, glitter foam that I purchased from um, Hobby Lobby and then another and this lays flat I did not lift everything up I didn't want everything to be two-dimensional because of this right here it didn't need it it didn't need to have all the extra layers and on here I was going to start doing the pearls but I'm like you know they maybe they're going to want to watch me because it's kind of a tedious little task but um I know I like to watch it, so you guys could always fast forward if it's just like mind numbing to you. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and dive in. Now, what we're gonna do first, just so that it can have a chance to dry, is we're gonna go ahead and do the hearts first. And then we'll start doing the scoring. So here are those. So let's go ahead and scoot you down closer. Okay, and tweezers game changer for little things like this. My favorite glue ever liquid is the Nuvo glue, which I get from Frank. So let's dive in. All right, let me get my chair in here. Let's get to it, guys. All right. Let's hope for no clogging in the process because this glue actually does dry. 
pretty quick. Oh geez, it just came out. All right. So when I do these, all I do is kind of like, you know, like little dots. Um, and I don't mind if it seeps through a little bit. I just wipe it off with my hand. It's not a big deal. And that's not supposed to happen. Thank goodness it didn't completely stick. All right. You know what? When you do videos, it's kind of like you got to expect things are just going to go wrong. I did these six with no issues. <laughs> so, okay. And then, then when I'm doing this, I got to absolutely make sure I'm in frame because a lot of times you just tend to look at the project and you're not looking through the lens of your phone or your camera, whatever it is you're using. And then you go back to replay the video. You're like, oh, dang it. <laughs> So, yeah, so we're gonna do this together. Um, I was thinking this year, you know, what type of crafts do I wanna do and, you know, that are gonna be useful to me? Because a lot of times I'll create a bunch of super cute things, right, that I love, that, um, you know, that I, I just, I just keep it though. Sometimes I gift it, but there's only so many people you can give certain things to. And I don't want to house what I make. I want to be able to gift it. Um, certain projects, then yes, absolutely, of course. So there's, I'm not going to be able to gift everything I do, but um, I don't need to make a thousand and one embellishments unless I'm in a swap or I'm gifting them. Because a lot of the time I have like a whole 12 by 12 bin of a bunch of... Um, what do you call it? Embellishments that I make. And I need to start being, you know, useful with my crafting. So I'm going to do my best. I might fall off track, I'm making no promises that, um, well, that just came out a lot. And, um, I want cards. I need to make more cards. So that is one of my goals is to beef up my card stash. And I did remember asking last year in one of my videos, what were the type of videos you wanted to see me do more of? And the two top ones was jewelry and um, card making. So I am gonna do my best to do those two things a little more often than I normally do. I just have prior obligations, like this is my design team project, so I have to get this stuff done. And, um, you know, and for Bona, and I'm gonna, be, my next video will be something for Frank with using one of his new collections. And um, then I'm gonna do um, a jewelry. I'm just taking off the glue, guys. That's the only reason I'm off screen. Um, I'm gonna, I promised a five, day um, bracelet, just like I did with the earrings and necklaces. So don't think that I've forgotten, I have not. Um, I just gotta do them because when I do these, those type of videos, I pre-make all that jewelry and then duplicate it. So thinking of the style and how I wanna coordinate my beads, it takes time, you know? It's, duplicating is the easy part. <laughs> so, um, but don't worry, I'm going to. Okay, so now it has all of the little hearts. All right, so we're gonna stick that off to the side because since it's liquid glue, it'll um, take a little bit to dry and I just want it to dry. So we're gonna do that first. All right, now let's go to the hearts, which are these guys right here. Love these scalloped hearts. These hearts, they give me absolute life. We're gonna use my mini Martha Stewart scoreboard <laughs> instead of the big mamma jamma that I tend to use. So you'll see right here, this pink line. I put that on there because when you're doing things like this and you're and you're trying your best to score it, sometimes down here, you're like, um, and next thing you know, your line goes this way or it goes that way. So let me take the sweater off, it's getting hot. Um, so when you do these right here, you easily line it up and you already know if the pink line is right here, the pink line is here, so it perfectly goes down there. That is just an old trick from a, from a while ago. It's not my idea. I totally was inspired by someone else's scoreboard that I seen and I was like, yes, we're doing that. So, 
All right, so with these right here, and that's actually what totally helps is when you do that. I know some people may be like, I don't want to mess up my um, scoreboard and do that, but you know what? It um, It's okay for me, it's not a big deal. So, I'm just put it all the way to the top. And it doesn't matter. Don't even worry about these scores. It has nothing to do with it. I'm literally just on this side because of the pink. So, measurements doesn't matter for something like this. And you just go down slow just so that you don't fall off the track and slip over because I can't even tell you how many times I've done that. And I don't have any more of this specific cardstock. So, I have to be careful with not making any mistakes because then I'll be really irritated. <laughs> All right, and then the last one right here. We will do our last score. Okay. Move this to the side, and then with right here, I'm just gonna fold them. Now, I don't use my bone folder except for the, um, the last heart that I do only because I want it to be super crisp. So for instance, this one right here, I will go ahead and use my bone folder so it's super crisp so that it stays as closed as possible. It's not gonna be super closed. You'll see on here, it's always gonna have that little opening. There's just really no way around it. And, um, and when you do it loosely like this where it's not creased, when I start layering all of them, this is the most creased one. Okay, and then once we lay everything down and the glue dries, then we can start opening them. Okay, but right now we're gonna glue these first because we want this to have a chance to go ahead and dry. I like to do my liquid stuff as much as I can first so that I can go ahead and let it dry and then use it. Um, when it comes to embellishments like this. So oh, actually, let's do this. So all I do on these guys is, of course, I'm using this. You want to use some fine tip. If you use your Billy Art Glue or if you're using Art Glitter Glue with a fine nozzle, it totally helps. So I just run a thin line all the way down the middle. Now, if you use hot glue, you're going to get, it's going to fall out the sides. There's really no way around that. And I don't like the look of the hot glue. Um look in the camera there when it dries I don't like how it seeps out at least with the glue it'll dry and it'll dry clear if you're using the right kind of glue so I just take my bone folder and I just crease it down the middle a little bit so that it'll bond okay make sure I stay right down here and then I'm just gonna get my glue and I'm gonna put another strip of it right down the middle Oops, I don't want to mess it up because it's still drying. Okay, and that's kind of how we do these. And this was kind of like back when the day when I did my, my little garlands and stuff like that. This is the same concept. Um, is just layering them. You can pick any. It doesn't have to be a heart. It could be stars. It could be circles. Whatever you choose. Okay. And then we're just going to score this down the middle so every time you do that through every layer it just bonds all the layers below it and you just want to make sure that you stay as much together as you can so that it's not like the tails coming out that way and everything is all not aligned and then we're gonna go ahead and add another strip and you don't need a ton so you don't have to go crazy with adding a bunch that's why we're gonna let this dry because if we were to just quickly try to use this it won't bond okay so we're just gonna go down the middle okay then the last one I used five of them just in case I didn't mention all right now we're gonna use the last one Make sure that's in the middle and scoot it up the top. Now we're going to go ahead and okay. 
Now, I'm not gonna do too much bending and folding because I don't want everything to fall apart. Okay. So on this one, I don't have any of my small corner. Okay, let's, I'm gonna see if I can just hold it with a paper clip so that when it dries, it's more enclosed. These part, these on the side, I don't really care too much as far as, because they tend to all gather really nicely. Okay, so we're just gonna leave it like that. I kind of want this to be closed in more. I didn't use do that on that one, but I'm gonna see if this works. We're gonna see if it pans out right as it dries. These right here will dry fine. So we're gonna leave them as up as much as we can. It's easier to have them dry upright and then push them down, then have them down, because then we can't get it back up. Okay. All right. All right, now we're just gonna set this off to the side and let it dry. Now we're gonna take, I used 110 card stock and I purchased my 110 from Michaels. I tend to like theirs better than the one from um, Hobby Lobby. Theirs is not really heavy weight, like they say. So um, this is a five by five card. I'm gonna lift this up a little bit more so that the <laughs> tape burner doesn't hit the screen. Okay, and when I do my cutting, I always go in on the first layer about an eighth of an inch. So even though this is going inside the card, actually it goes this way, we are going, so you will see that it barely goes, there's just a barely little line all the way around it. And that's how I want it. And then from that, I go a quarter inch every layer, okay? So, I like this is a brand new thing of tape and I just went through one because do you guys ever get rolls that when you put them on, they didn't put the adhesive on the other side. So therefore it doesn't work. It's like it's messed up um, because there should be adhesive on one side so that it always catches and then they end up doing it on the opposite side. So you're like, oh my gosh. And then that's the whole rule. You can't use it because they did it backwards, I guess it would be. So for me, I'm not gonna throw it away. I just have to use it by hand and let me tell you, that's awful, <laughs> but I refuse to throw it away. <laughs> okay. So we're just gonna go ahead and layer this in the middle as much as we can. Okay, perfect. And then I just cut out this little square piece right here. So when it lays in here, it's just gonna be like this. It's not gonna be something that takes, um, you know, all through here. I kind of wanted to do it this way this time. And this is also 110 cardstock. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and do this one. All right, love my tape runner. As long as I get that tape in there right. <laughs> All right, then we're gonna go ahead and layer this inside in the middle as best as possible. There we go. Now what I did is I had these three hearts right here. And let's put the tape runner to the side. And we're gonna get the liquid glue. Okay, and this is kind of where I just, um, I guesstimate. Okay, and the beautiful thing about glue is it's forgiving as long as you work within its time frame. So, okay, so we're just gonna put that there. And I always like to put a dot in the middle. Actually, you know what I probably should do instead of that is Let's put this behind, because I always do it the other way. I'll just put dots and guesstimate, and I tend to be pretty good at that. But this way it would be better for those that maybe not are not that great at guesstimating. So just put it there so you know exactly where you want it to line up. Okay. All right. 
And that was all that I did for the inside. I didn't go ham of tape runner glue on my nail. All right, and oops. Okay, so we have the three hearts with the little blings. Now we're gonna start working on the top. Okay. The first layer will be this one right here. This also, I only, so this one is a five by five. I only went in an eighth of an inch. Okay, so I don't have my scoreboard to know exactly what that is. Um, and we're not going to use this one for that because that will take forever. Tape runner is perfectly fine for this part. And lay this piece on. This was such a beautiful collection. I do believe I picked up more pieces when it originally came out. I just have to look. But these were individual sheets. That's why I like going to um, Frank's. Let's move these to the side. And um, I'll go through the, the clearance section because sometimes he'll put collections I don't even know about. And I'm like, what? And these are his individual sheets. So I love buying those. And I go a little crazy. My issue with paper is real. Okay. So we have the first layer down. Now you're going to see this right here. It's, I think it's winky foam, something like that. So it's like a two millimeter foam. It's not very thick. This one you will see, I went in a quarter of an inch. So it goes in even more because I want this to show. So for something like this, I don't use my tape runner. I use liquid glue, okay? Because you got to consider um, like paper on this, on paper on paper, it'll be fine, but for instance, there's times that I've used double-sided tape or tape runner, leave it on my craft desk because I'm going to finish the project, you know, next day and it's all lifted because of the temperature. So depending if it's cold, um, that's when it tends to lift. So there's a lot of places that are much more, uh, that are colder than California for sure. I mean, seriously, the, it, the cold here is not real. <laughs> I can't even tell you how irritated I am that we really had no winter. We never really have a winter, to be honest, but um, this one was even worse. I'm like, I didn't really even get to bust out sweaters because I run hot going through the change and um, yeah, too much will send me overboard. <laughs> so you see right here, this is a quarter of an inch all the way around. Then this one right here is another quarter of an inch all the way around. So we're gonna add, because this is paper going on glue, I'm not gonna use a tape runner. I'm still gonna use the liquid because foam right here doesn't hold on to hot glue good and it definitely will not hold on to a tape runner. And if you use, you know, even a red line and Frank's tape is like one of my favorite double-sided tapes because it's super strong. But even on foam, it just doesn't last very long. It'll be really good for a little bit. Like I said, change in temperature, it'll start lifting. So liquid is always your best way to go on certain things like that. When it comes to foam, I always, always use um, liquid glue. Okay, so we're just going to add that. I need to get one of those. I think they're called brayers, the the roller that you roll it for things like this. So it's like you want to, you know, push down, let that bond, that glue adhere because this is the glitter side up. So that's even more so because it's more porous on the top because of the glitter that's there. So you don't want to just stick it on there and then move on to the next project because it'll start lifting. So you just want to make sure that, you know, you put a lot of pressure evenly through the corners where that's the part that tends to want to always give up. And then just move on. I think we're good. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add the chippy. Okay. And when I do things like this, I like to, when it's scalloped like this, I like to have this as the point in the middle and then the point 
here. I don't like to do it odd ways. It, I don't know. That's just my OCD maybe. So I'll do it to where it's like that. Okay. So for this, I'm also going to use liquid adhesive. This stuff right here is amazing. So we're just going to put it all through the center. We don't need to add it all through the edges. That doesn't matter. As long as this part is adhered well, we're good. Okay. All right. Now let's go ahead and add this in the middle. Make sure everything is off the page and looks the same from top to bottom. Okay. Because this stuff dries very quick. So you, you have wiggle room, but I wouldn't go crazy thinking you have too much wiggle room. All right. So now we have the chip yarn. Now, while we have the chip yarn, we're going to go ahead and add the um, the blings. Which ones did I use? Oh, gracious, I think it was these right here. And then I use this one right here. Okay. So let's grab some of these. We're going to do those first. Okay, and what I do, since there's holes right here, since there's holes right here, that means when you drop the glue in there, you're gonna have to go back and drop a little more because it's gonna sink to the bottom. So even though it sits up top here, it's gonna fall down the middle. So I just kind of make my rounds on here. And then I'll go back and I'll add like a smidge more because now it's gonna sit on top but just a smidge because you don't want it to, um, the card's bigger and it's gonna fall off screen at the bottom part. So if I fall off, that's only because I'm doing the exact same thing all the way around. Okay, so now it's starting to fall through. Some of them look like they're okay. And this gives me enough time to get all of the blings on there. You just need enough that surfaces to the top. All right, and then I just start adding the blings. And I use my nails because these are round and um, the tweezers, it pops right out. So I'm like, oh gosh, <laughs> it's not gonna work. I don't think there's enough glue on the top of that one. Let's add a little bit more you want to have enough that it sticks to it. Okay. And scooch you up a little bit more. Add a little bit of glue here. And we're going to kind of do the same thing um, to um, what did I do on them on that one? I think I did them on the point on this one right here. So let's go ahead and turn these right side up. I know a lot of people don't like to, a lot of girls don't like to um, mess with these little tiny things, but gosh, guys, it gives it like the perfect little something. Um, of course, they don't have adhesive, but I actually prefer it this way, to be honest, because then I know it's going to stick. Oops, it's fell sideways. Okay. All right, and then we have, oops, two more. Because I was thinking, you know what, maybe I should just do this part first. But, you know, I'm thinking maybe some of you, and for those of you that don't, you can fast forward, um, want to see how things are done. I know I do. I, I'm one of those I love seeing, even though I know how to do certain things, I just love the process. Okay, so those are there. Now we're done with those. And we're now we're going to use these. I love these ones. These are probably like my favorite little style of little blings. I love them. I have them in sticky as well. All right, and then we're just gonna add the dots in here. Oh geez, it went off the... So if you do them all, you have enough time as long as you, oh geez, as long as you know you can move quick. I added way 
read too much on that. So you can see. So much easier if you have nails. <laughs> and I, you know what? I was tempted to go back to long nails again, but I'm like, oh my gosh, for me, I, it's harder for me to craft when they're too long, like for stuff like this, like little stuff. It drives me nuts, you know? So don't, you might see me with long nails. I'm not going to say, it. you know, I go through my phases, but for right now, I'm just good with, you know, short gel and, you know, and call it a day. Um, and plus because I can do them myself. So I do my own gel. Um, and that works for me, saves money, you know, because I get pedicures, but I don't even get pedicures that often because I do that myself as well. <laughs> because we gotta prioritize our craft money, guys. <laughs> so if there's stuff that you can do on your own, then you do it, like I hair dye my own hair, you know, um, because that's just what ends up, um, I can, I don't have like a ton of hair and I don't get all, I just get it colored, one color. And um, so that's an easy thing for me to do. I'm not ready to embrace the white hair yet. And there's so many ladies that are look that I've seen, crafty friends, that are doing it now. And I'm like, oh my gosh, they look so beautiful. Like they're they're able to rock it. I feel like my face, I don't know. I just feel like it would look awful. And not just that, um, I don't naturally have thick hair. Um, I'm more on the finer side of hair. So when you have white hair, it just makes you look bald. <laughs> Who wants that? You know, and, um, you know, so that's why I'm like, well, we can wait a little bit longer. And um, for that, I'll embrace it later. Just not yet. Okay, so see, once you get a little rhythm, you know, you can get this done. And this one doesn't, well, you know, I think it's fine. One more. Okay. There we go. So now we have all of our blings on. Make sure they're all pushed in there really well because these are small. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna go ahead and add the foam. And you know, I think I'll cut a little bit around it because it's a little too wonky. All right. Cause it should fit right in the middle. There we go. Okay. So we are going to Let's go ahead and do this first, actually. We're gonna put the glue on the back of this and then we're gonna put it on the foam because I also like to line up my hearts on this as well. <laughs> For those of you guys that could care less, please don't feel like it's not gonna be just as pretty just because you don't care about this step. This is just OCD for me. If I can help it, um, I totally prefer Okay, I'm trying to focus. I feel like if I talk and I do this at the same time, <laughs> it'll get messed up. All right, so we're gonna put this on here first. Okay. And remember, because it's sticking on glitter, you gotta make sure that you um, work its way in there. Don't just pop it on there. Got to give it time to settle. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and stick some more in the back. All right. Now we're going to stick this. Now what I do, because this one right here is in the middle, I want to make sure that little tiny heart is the same direction. Okay, that makes me feel better. <laughs> if I can just line things up as much as I can. I tend to look at things differently. Okay, 
All right, so see, look at how pretty it's looking so far. Oh, I love it. All right, so now we have our heart right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna, I'm gonna use liquid adhesive for the back of this. I literally just bought like three bottles more from Frank um, last weekend because I was running low. And when I say running low, I means I had two bottles left because that gives me anxiety. I use this so much. Okay, now we're gonna line this up in the middle. So we'll just line it up with that pearl, make sure it's in the middle of this circle, make sure the heart is lined up. And then where's my bone folder? We're gonna go to the last heart that's back here. Did I? Okay, and we're gonna just push this down, okay? So that it sticks. All the way down to the point, and we're just gonna push it down. Okay, let me hold this side down while I do that. Okay, you kind of got to work in the glues time frame so that it doesn't pop up and then I'll just do the same thing here. Hold this part down. And scoot it along here. Make sure it's sticking really well. Okay, and then what I do is I'll take it through here and I'll go down the middle. Okay. Just wanna make sure it's all good. And then we can start opening these hearts up. Okay. So it looks so pretty. So this does work a little bit. <clears throat> it totally, I love it. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, okay. Now we're gonna work all of these butter, um, butterflies, but I'm gonna use hot glue for this one. Oh, this hot glue gun is gonna drive me crazy. Okay, so what I do with these right here is I kind of just like push up the petals so that I can have enough space like right in here to stick hot glue. And then, so we'll just do that now. Just stick my nail in there. You know, I'm not a big fan of fussy cutting, but every so often, I don't mind it. <laughs> it's not so bad. It's so pretty. This collection was really pretty. All right, so let me see, I think my, as we were, as I was doing it, stinking thing undid it like because I have the cordless kind. So, let's see. Switch up the butterflies. They don't have to look the same as the other one. And it's nice to do things like this that are not, um, what do you call it? Um, that doesn't have a sentiment because um, this way you can use for any occasion. And I kind of like the flowers to go in their own direction. And then I'll stick the smaller ones kind of like inside like this right here. Maybe I'll probably stick the butterfly wings here. Maybe I'll do it here. Maybe I'll do it in the middle here. No, because I have the butterfly, this exact one on that side. So maybe I'll do it. More so like that. Okay, sorry guys, my hot glue gun wasn't supposed to turn off. I hate that when this happens. It's time for a new one. So let's go ahead and do this. I don't wanna waste time. Let's try using this for now on the bottom parts because I'm gonna need hot glue for the other one. There's no way around that one. Okay. Okay. And then we'll use this one here. Oops. All right, 
right. Just want to make sure that sticks well. All right. Move this one right here. Just like I'm going different directions. I think it looks so pretty. Or you can maybe have them all going like bigger to smaller if that's something that you like. Hmm. Okay. Let's go back through here. Make sure the glue sticks. So now we just have left are these, and I think, hmm, I think I'm going to have this one down here. It's hot glue ready. Come on. <laughs> Come on, guy. Oh, there we go. Just enough. All right. So then I just... kind of got to hold it because it, all it's holding to are just the top of these so it's like you just got to hold it so that it holds on to it because it's literally just balancing okay and then we're going to stick this one up here okay And now I'll do it this way. So it's just kind of in there. There. So she's like right there. Okay. Now she's done. So how pretty is that? So you'll see the difference. I love it so much better with the hearts on the, um, what you call it. So that's to totally different takes on using the wheel, making sure, I mean, you get three hearts that come with the pack. So I had to do it four times. Yeah, three, six, nine, 12, yeah. And that's not a big deal. But you see the difference? Look at how pretty that is. I just love it. It's so fun, so pretty, and it's exactly the same on the inside as um, the other card and that's it so I hope you guys like this I hope it wasn't you know I try to do as much prepping in advance so that you could um, see the cards um, not have to take forever but that's it guys thank you so much for stopping by have an amazing and super blessed Sunday don't forget to stop by Erica's store and go shopping bye guys